Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel, man, and thanks for tuning in for today's video. And uh, today I want to do a video that I don't even, th I've never heard of a video being done on this before. I, there's not much information out there on it, and I've always been fascinated by it, and I'm sure a lot of people have. Um, and that's, you know, have a little discussion about how long have bass been on the planet. And on top of that, and even more importantly than that, is how does that affect our fishing today as far as what we can learn about that, about, you know, how they've evolved over the years. And, you know, I've done some studying this a little bit, a little bit of research, and from everything that I've studied and read about, there's, there's pretty much a global consensus amongst uh, scientists and archaeologists that um, the Micropodus lineage, which largemouth bass is, is part of that lineage that also includes sunfish you know based upon fossilized remains and everything they, they put the uh, Macropodus lineage at uh, anywhere between seven to seven and a half million years on earth and specifically the largemouth bass you know they estimate that it has been around here for anywhere between three to three and a half million years in that in that time frame which is a long time uh, and the question that, or not a question, but the discussion I want to have on this is, uh, you know, the time frame that they've been here, you know, whether it's three million years or three and a half million years, it does, it, that doesn't really matter. But what does this tell us about the behavior of the bass today as far as their ability to adapt and evolve? Because that's one thing about species, you know, that have uh, survived or went extinct over the years is that the species that have survived are the most adaptive. And uh, the ones that have become extinct are the ones that were unable to adapt to their environment. So for a largemouth bass or perch or whatever to, to be here for over three million years, they've gotta be extremely adept at mastering their environment. They, ha they, they are. And I don't think a lot of people give largemouth bass the credit they deserve for how smart that they are to do that. And how adaptive they are. I, I don't even think we have a grasp on really how adaptive a bass is to their environment. I mean, they can survive and they can spawn in, in such a wide range of conditions. They can they can feed in mud in the pitch black dark or gin clear water. I mean, they're just very adaptive, and that's that's how they've sustained and been here for so many millions of years. So here's what, and, and you know, and, and that's an interesting topic of, of conversation, but. As far as in the real world, what does this do to our fishing? Here's sort of my thoughts on it, my opinions. And I'll be curious to get everybody else's thoughts on this, you know, how they, th they think it works out. Is, in my opinion, in order for a bass to have been here for that many millions of years, they can't make a lot of mistakes and they have to learn quick to, to do to what to do and what not to do. And one of the things that I've seen myself as far as how bass have evolved to master their environment has just come about, you know, in the last 50 years with the, the massive increase in fishing pressure that we've had that they've never dealt with before. I mean, for so many millions of years, bass didn't have any, any angling pressure to deal with. I mean, they just, they had to deal with their own, you know, their, their own uh, predators or predatory instincts that they had on the water. They, they probably did a full grown mature bass didn't have any predators except for possibly an alligator or something, you know, once they got mature and now they have anglers that are, that are after them. But here's what I'm talking about is how, how impressive it is to me about how bass evolved. You know, and I've talked about this before, but you know, back in the seventies, you know, uh, we, everybody that fished Tabor Rock Lake here in Missouri used to catch them on these big white hellbenders. And people back then, they used hula poppers and lazy ikes and jitterbugs, and they caught these big bags of fish. But guys, if you would go to your favorite lake right now, you know, I don't care if it's Gunnersville, Okeechobee, whatever, just tie you on a hula popper and tie on a jitterbug and tie on a hellbender and tie on a lazy ike and see how many bass you catch. You're not gonna catch if, if you catch one bass, you're going to be, you know, uh, you know, it'll be able to surprise me. So my point is, is why don't those bass bite those lures that they bit so good 50 years ago? And that's because, and it's not because those are the same bass have become educated because there is a, a 
you know, there's not a single bass in the lakes that I fish around here that have probably ever seen a, hell, a, a hellbender or a hula popper or a lazy hike. They haven't seen it. But what has happened is bass have evolved. It's almost like something that, that has been ingrained in their DNA on an evolutionary basis to, to basically stay away from those things that don't look real. They didn't know that 50, 60, 100 years ago. They, they bit those lures that are very rudimentary now. And it's the same, it goes on, you know, after each decade. I remember how many big bags of fish I used to catch just on a half ounce black jig with a number one black pork frog. And I, there was so many years where that's about all I fished. And now you can't hardly get a bite on that. Yeah, you have to go to something like a brush hog or, or some type of a beaver or creature bait to catch the fish. You just can't put on a big black and black jig and pork frog and catch that many fish anymore. Again, it's another thing that the bass have evolved on some you know, basic DNA level to stay away from that. It's super, super impressive to me. If somebody else has a better explanation for that, let me know because, you know, like I said, there are generations of bass that have never seen these baits that used to produce so well years ago and they simply don't bite them right now. So from that standpoint, uh, you know, that's one of the reasons that bass have been around for so long is they're, 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 they learn quick, they evolve quick, you know, they're not, they're not stupid. You know, they're very aware of their environment. You know, they're, you know, they don't make many mistakes because if they make mistakes, they don't survive. And I think so much of that is just biologically ingrained, you know, in their being to do that. And it's sort of like, you know, the, those instincts are something that, that everything in nature has. I mean, it's just like, you know, when a goose, you know, flies south for the winter. I mean, how does a goose know to know where to go? I mean, how, do, how does it know what it, where the flight path is? I mean, every creature on this planet, they, they've got intuition, they've got instincts that are just sort of ingrained in their DNA. And it's the same with the bass. And as far as the bass goes, it's, it's never going to stop like that. They're going to, they've been evolving for millions of years. They're going to continue to evolve. And the baits that we have like right now, like drop shots and wacky rigs and swim baits and jerk baits and crank baits and all this stuff that we consider, you know, excellent lure choices right now, eventually 50 or hundred years from now, those baits are going to become obsolete because the bass are going to get conditioned to those as well. They're not going to be as effective. And to me, that's the only thing that makes any sense because I've always wondered that. I mean, I use that black jig and pork frog analogy a lot because I just don't understand why it doesn't work now like it did 30 years ago when, you know, it was just, it was such a key player in every tournament that I fish. And it's, a, and it's like a non-player now completely. And it just goes back to the fact that bass adapt and they evolve to their environment. You know, they're they're masters of their do of their domain, and they have been for millions of years. So anyway, I just thought that that was an interesting topic of conversation. Um, let me go. Let me know what you guys think. You know, did, let me know what you think uh, as far as the, you know the you know how these fish evolve over the years, and let me know what you base that opinion on. And, Let's get a conversation going on that. I think it'd be interesting for everybody to hear a bunch of different ideas on it. So anyway, that's today's tip or comment or, or just uh, commentary, whatever you want to call it. I uh, hope you guys have a good day, and we'll be back, be back soon. See you.